Hey guys, and welcome to Tower of Time. My name is Jagaris, and today I'm going to be checking out this game from Event Horizon. It came out on the 12th of April. It is an ARPG, and actually was recommended to me in the YouTube comments, so I decided to take a peek. And just for full disclosure, I did get a copy of this game for free. So I guess we should just go on normal. Like, normal is typically where I like to go. This sounds kind of easy, this sounds kind of difficult. Let's just... I'm normal, okay, you guys? I know I might not look it, but I'm definitely normal. A, okay, what does it say? The... The Visions. Our land is dying. And we are dying with it. This was not always the case. Our Tara was once a place of wonder and beauty. The five races thrived in peace and harmony. Then, long ago, something happened. A cataclysm of unimaginable proportions. Something so disastrous, we don't even have a name for it. For when it destroyed our civilization, it took with it all knowledge of history. The past is now lost to us. Our future is uncertain. We are left trapped in a bleak and dismal present. The land itself is our enemy now. The weather extreme and unpredictable. Droughts persist for several weeks, followed by floods that wash everything away. Yet our gravest problem is the lack of sunlight. Storm clouds shroud our world in everlasting twilight. Without the sun, we are unable to grow food, and so we struggle to survive this dark world, a seemingly hopeless battle. I look back now to when I was a young boy, living on the fringe of the human domain. While hunting for food, I stumbled upon ruins uncovered by a recent earthquake. A bad omen, normally avoided. But this time, something drew me in. So when he was a kid, he went to the ruins. Life is not so good. Enemies will prioritize attacking those that are closest when they arrive on the battlefield, dealing damage or using skills to generate threat, which causes them to find that hero a more appealing target. Okay. The beginning, 25 years ago, the entire morning passed without the sign of a single rabbit, rarely was hunting so bad in the woods surrounding your village. It felt as if something unnatural lingered in the air, a frightening thought that sent a shiver down your spine as you slowed your pace and gazed through the trees at a scene of total devastation. The forest laid before you sundered literally with jagged rocks and vast chasms. The aftermath of the earthquake three days passed, pushing back the impulse to flee home, you move closer, the adults tell stories of world's regurgitated treasures from long ago. Just to look... You convince yourself your curiosity is shortly rewarded by the sight of a large fissure emitting a dazzling blue light. Against your better judgment, you squeeze through the gap. Okay, we're doing silly things. What is this place? It looks like a different world. Perhaps I should turn back. The elders are very strict about all the old stuff. If you come across anything strange that belongs to old times, don't touch it. Well, we gon' touch it. Bah, they're scared of their own shadows. It can't hurt to look around. Apparently he looks like this. Okay, so left click is walk. We figured it out saving. You know, we've played about 30 seconds of the game. May as well save. What is this? The map. Mm -hmm. Do I press M? Yeah, M works. Just like standard video games. Just press M. It'll be fine. Alright, what we got? A statue. As you approach the statue, its eyes flicker and it speaks. Welcome to the sanctum of the first Magus. Please state your business. I, I want to look around. I... The first Magus awaits you, Ambassador Chunstable. Chunstable is not a word, representative of the King of the Mountain. Who? Oh, no, wait a second, I'm just a boy from the village. I was taking a look around. There, there was a... The Sanctum Guards have been alerted. They will escort you to the administrative captain. Please do not be alarmed. Maybe I'll just go back to where I came. Please stay where you are, and do not be alarmed. The Sanctum Guardians will escort you to the administrative captain. Resistance is not advised. You wait apprehensively for a moment, but nothing happens. I'm not going to remember these voices. And also, that statue voice was not fun to do. I already gave the boy a different voice to the voice I gave him at the start. <laughs> oh, where are we off to? 
We're gonna go here. Below you lies a large throne lined with immense luminous luminescent crystals. As you peer over the edge and focus your attention on one of the large blue crystals, a faint voice calls out. Fear. No. Fear. 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 Fear is the gatekeeper that turns back the masses. Have courage. Your destiny beckons. It definitely doesn't sound like that. Who are you? What is this place? Come to me. The time is nigh. A powerful desire to leap off the edge of this precipice to the throne far below washes over you. That doesn't sound very safe. Sweat breaks across your brow as you force yourself back step by step. The voices vanish, but the irresistible urge to reach the throne remains. And we've got to find a safe way down. Can I interact with these pots? I don't know why. I feel like I should be able to interact with pots. Kid likes pot, okay? You know, it's 2018. We don't judge. Let's go right. Although maybe left would have been better. Um, what are those? What are those? does not look safe this is a dead end i should probably not just like end up exploring every nook and cranny i'm like that with games and we're never gonna make any progress if we spend the whole time looking for secrets all right well we'll find out soon enough also i have 20 gp i am rich i can buy at least two girlfriends on runescape with that amount of money at least are these not evil Oh, it's the Guardians. Look, a boy approaches. Another human after all this time, but a mere child. He doesn't have the skill to survive this place, and yet he has come this far. Perhaps he is ready. Ready for what? This is all premature. He must develop the power, or else others will manipulate him. Yes, I sense it now. Are you capable, boy? Do you know magic? Of course not. Magic? No, of course not. I'm just a hunter. A hunter of what, I wonder? Tell us. Do you always know where to aim your bow, even with your eyes shut? Enough. Leave him be. He doesn't understand. Beside, he poses no threat yet. Yes, let him pass. Let's see for let him see for himself. Very well, go ahead, embrace your fate. Right, okay. Fate. I'm gonna get embraced. Embraced, not embraced. Statue. Oh, I don't like talking to the statues. First Mages Elfridor held office between four thirty nine of the fifth era. Veith. The Veith era. A beautiful armor made of pure gold. Oh, why can't I pinch that? Then I'll have more than twenty GP and I'll be able to buy loads of girlfriends. Head office between blah 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 blah. Okay, there's a bunch of statues. And some shelves. And more statues. Uh, so it looks like we're in some sort of a throne room. A throne room. Aha, see, there's the throne. Oh man, let's sit on the Iron Throne. A boy! You are still a child, and yet you heard you at my call. How can this be? Uh, I don't know. Please let me go. I'm scared. I just want to go home. Yes, I can sense your fear, but this fear does not rule your heart. There is something else. You are different, as I was once long ago. You are inexperienced, and your abilities are developed, but there is no mistake. Such dormant fear of raw power and an indisputable match. I don't understand. There is much to explain. Where I have the will, I do not possess the time. I grow weaker by the moment. I took all my strength to raise this tower again. I must rest now. In time, you will forget this place. You will grow strong and skillful and find a position in your world. For this, before I release you, I must entrust you an insati insatiable desire to return. I feel strange. What are you doing to me? For some day, many days from now, you will return to this tower, seek me in its depths, and on that day, when my power has recovered, we will talk again. Please, please let me go. Forgive me, boy. You will come to understand, I promise. The memory of this meeting will vanish from your mind once you leave this place, but you will return as surely a seedling reaches for the sun. I guess he looks like this. Go now, run. This place is not safe for a child, even for you. Learn thyself. Give thyself to the world. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm guessing that was like the flashback. And then 25 years from now, spoilers, we're going to come back to the creepy throne and become magical. I might have to do that voice for him the entire time, though. It's kind of fun. Yeah, that the protagonist could just talk like this from now on. What could possibly go wrong? The beginning. Descending the stairs led me to a crystal throne which glittered with swirling light. I felt strangely compelled to approach and sit. As I took my place upon it, a sudden torrent of light enveloped me. The illumination overwhelmed my senses. I grew nauseous and weak, but before I lost consciousness, the throne ejected me to the floor. I fled and told no one what happened for fear of being deemed tainted and banished from the village. 
for this was the way of my people. I tried to forget the experience, to convince myself it was my overactive imagination. But the visions that followed said otherwise. Every night, the nightmares came. Their torment highlighted my confusion, as each morning I remembered little, fragmented images, words which made no sense, nothing more. I would have thought myself mad if not for the strange, incomprehensible symbols I often drew in the sand, proof that forces beyond my understanding were at work. People in my vicinity kept their distance, and I think they feared me. Over time, they learned to tolerate my unusual nature, but I was always alone, left to brood and ponder my strange fate. One winter, it all came flooding back to me. I realized the crystal throne sat not at the bottom of some ancient ruins, but at the top of a construction incomprehensible in scale. That the ruins were not ruins of some lost city or ancient castle, but a single massive tower buried deep within the earth. And buried upside down. Some unexplainable force had lifted the construction into the sky, rotated it, and driven it into the ground. In that moment of clarity, I knew one thing above all others. I had to go back to that place, for the power within was the one thing that could save Artara. Years later, I found myself a commander in the last human kingdom's militia. The king, a just man and good friend, granted me a favor for my years of loyal service. I had but one request, a small force of men and resources to return to the village of my birth and explore the tower. Preoccupied by an eroding empire, the king held little interest in ancient ruins and towers. He did, however, see the reclaiming of a long-abandoned village on the border of an ever-shrinking kingdom as a boost to the people's morale. He gave me what I requested, and his blessing. So, here I am, returning to the very place which has haunted me my entire life. It is a desolate place now. Time has not been kind to my village. Most of it has rotted or been washed away. Yet the tower remains just as I remember it. I am in awe of the power within and perhaps fearful. The men and I are setting up the camp in the village, while Cain and Maev, two of my most capable warriors, will scout the tower. Once again, I feel its call. We must uncover its secrets. We must find a way to reach the power within. If we fail, it will be the end of us. Okay, let's go to the tower. Also, the game saved like two or three times during that cutscene, which I thought was quite funny. At long last, just as impressive as I remember. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. Such green, healthy looking plants. I really want to give him the like 12 year old boy voice. Whether by natural enchant means something about the soil here produces abundant life. The key to our salvation, whoever returns with secrets will be the king of all Altara. So wait, we're going to usurp the king? Is this a secret we came for, my lord? New crops? I don't think so. No, there must be something else here. Where there is one secret, there may be others. The prophet! I mean, pretend... Okay, like, she's a greedy fucker. Let's go. If you seek to uncover the secrets of the place, then we shall do so. Maeve and I will scout the area before you proceed. Okay, well, I appreciate that your consent is unwarranted, my old friend. After all, I survived this place as a child. But you're no longer a child. Yes, yeah, he's no longer a hench child, so he's never going to win. You're our commander and we saw an oath to protect you. Blah, 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 blah. Scoundrels. 
I'm well aware my lord is a skilled fighter, but this is a matter of regulation and duty. K. Oh, like K for king. I shouldn't have to remind you of that. Uh, commander's primary task is to command. Okay. Maybe it's right, of course. We cannot afford to lose some unforeseen danger or long term adventure. Blah, 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 blah. At your discretion, old friend, but be careful. I recall an unease about this place. It's difficult to recall. The more I try to remember, the less clear it becomes. And if some will beyond my own world. I return to the village now. Call me once we're done. Okay. Normally I'd rather the lady go first, but duty calls for the strongest arm and keenest scent combat sense to lead. Get behind me and stay close, fair maiden. That's really patronizing. Anyway, let's see how we go. So, our character just buggers off. And then these two numpties are in charge of searching. So tell me about my lord. You've known him far longer than I. Well, for one, he wasn't highborn. He earned the king's respect and his position through service and skill. I've been in the king's guard just over five years when he first joined. A formidable fighter and quick learner, he showed immediate potential, but he often had his odd, distant look to his eyes. So odd, to tell you the truth, it's good for me to be the men. And what if this tower does he tru truly seek a way to heal the land, or are we on a fool's errand? When you've spilled blood with a man on the battlefield, you know his mental Maeve. 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 I don't know what awaits us here, but I can tell you one thing. Whenever he's seeking this place, he believes it will help us all. That's good enough for me. Right, let's play. This game has a little bit too much, like, dialogue at the start. Like, right now is the start of the game, you know? Like, this is the point where you want to be playing the game, not clicking through a bunch of backstory. And I get that, like, backstory is important, but I think that from a development point of view, you should be able to throw the backstory into the gameplay. Whereas there, we had to click a lot. By the great spirits, what is this? This water is so clear and you can, see, you can see straight through it. No, you can't. It tastes sweet too. The merchants back in the city would pay a week's wages for a picture of this. I like how she just drinks it. Like, come on. Like, blue, have you ever seen fruit trees like that? Spooky. I'm appropriately spooked. Trees. If a merchant would pay a week's wages for a picture of that water, they'd give half their wealth for one of these things. Careful eating strange fruit can have unexpected consequences. You didn't have any second thoughts about drinking the water? I did. I like how she's just eating the fruit and drinking the water. Like, come on. At least one of us will be clear headed if they turn out to be poisonous. Some people have no sense. So we're just gonna steal all this gold. And then if like our commander asks, there was no gold. We found nothing, you know, just in case. <gasps> frog! Oh, I can't click on the frog. That's no fun. Uh-oh. Looks like you're right. High Korea outlaws up ahead. They're not outlaws, they are skeletons. Something's not right. Why are they just standing there? One way or another, I'll get them to move. Get behind me. Skin and me come closer. Their torchlight reveals fleshless soldiers of a long dead kingdom. Okay, they didn't realize. Those are no outlaws. They're skellingtons. They are spooky, scary selling skellingtons that send shivers down our spine. Defeat a small group of what appears to be walking skeletons. Okay, so we can change the party. We can fight and we can withdraw. And we can see what they're strong against and what they're bad against. So does minus 30 mean they're bad against fire? I'm assuming. And this guy has fireball. Let's just fight. It'll be fine. We don't need to like... Okay, so now we're in the battle sequence. Start battle. Position your units. Move Kane to a position where he can intercept enemies. He has high armor and can take a lot of punishment. Keep Eve at the back so she can deal damage from afar unchallenged. Let enemies come to you. Don't rush. Wait and observe. In Tower of Time, the reflex doesn't matter. Only your tactical awareness and observation skills. Okay. Your champions generate threat when dealing damage. Melee attacks generate more threat and some skills generate extra threat. Enemies attack targets with the highest threat. Each enemy has its own hate list. When they are switching targets, it's indicated by a monster icon above their head. Only one enemy is breaking Kane from Kane. Okay, that's fine. In tactical mode, spacebar, which is when you pause, you can see red lines showing which champion is currently targeted by each enemy. This is a very important part of combat. Let Kane do his job, make all enemies focus on him. You can switch between slow time and pause at any time in the menu. We recommend slow time. Okay. There are two combat stances that affect how your champions behave on their own. In stand ground, units will never move by themselves, which is useful if you want them to group group them together for an area heal or an aura effect. In move and attack, they will automatically attack the closest enemy. Okay, that makes sense. Some skills require a second click to confirm the cast anywhere on the screen, e.g. buffs, while others require making marking the target area. Enemies in range of the skills are highlighted. Do not waste mana needlessly. Oh, well. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Certain enemies skills will target the ground red circles. Move your champions outside the range. Okay. The key to victory on higher difficulties is to use both the battleground terrain and skills which affect 
a map to your advantage. Look for choke points and natural obstacles. If your champions are low on health or mana, withdraw to a safe location. Okay, so I guess we move him to here. And then if I press space bar, ah, oh, he goes slower, okay. I'll put her like, can she attack him? Yeah, she can. So this is dash, stone wall, heal wounds, okay. So let's make a wall. What did I do? I want to make a wall. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, that's super cool. Wait, now she can't shoot them though. Can she not shoot them because I made a wall? Oh, I done messed up. There we go. I guess we may as well enchant the weapon. And then he can like heal himself. How much mana do I have? Aha, aha, it's here. And then this is move and attack and this is stand ground. Oh, I have to click to cast. Right, okay, we Gucci. I didn't really need to make a wall there. Oh. Uh, we can make a wall here now though, right? Then they have to come closer. All right, where are you off to? Should probably use him to attack. Instead of letting him just get poisoned a lot. Oh, so there's waves of enemies. Okay, I get it. Uh, I think we just need to kill these guys, unfortunately. Nope, what are you doing? Right, he needs to heal. And she needs to use... Shoot arrows multiply or something. Let's see what this does. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty strong. He's on fire! He's gonna run away. Oh, we actually killed them all. It's fine. We got a hammer. The pearl hammer of carnage. And some money. Okay. So it seems like you then switch to this like fight scene where you then fight waves of enemies. Dead, risen from the ground. What evil is this? Such untying determination. Look there. The severed arm still twitches. It's there. Intent on continuing the fight. I'm glad they fell easily enough to blade an arrow. Perhaps we were just lucky. Next time withdraw further back. Your bow is of no use too close to the front line and your present only distracts me from the battle. If just as much living dead and you let you have a tactics. Really, Kane, sometimes you take your duties and rank far too far. After all, you thought they were ordinary outlaws and let us right into them. Ha! Alive or dead, they were no match for the skill of my blade. Whatever you say, Kane, arguing you is like talking to a stone wall. Should we go back and tell my lord about this? Not yet. We have our duties to complete. Press an icon at the top of your screen or I key and then we can see our inventory. Uh... Inventory is shared between all your champions. Each hero has basic equipment white. When you remove any magic item from your character slot, basic gear is automatically equipped. If an item cannot be used by a given champion, it's marked red. You cannot sell items, but you can destroy them or recover resources to dismantle an item. Click the dismantle button. Okay. Itemization is very rich in Tower of Time. There are several statistics which can be attached to an item. Next to an item, icon and small grey boxes indicate a number of possible upgrades in item forge that this item can receive. It will be explained later when you get access to this technology. Each item can roll either a prefix or an affix, green items, or both of them, blue and purple items. In this example below, one of the weapons is of sparks, which adds one to three air damage, while the other is jagged, which adds bonus armor penetration. Okay, so you could have jagged and of sparks, the prefix, which goes before, and the affix, which goes after. One example of Specialization is that two-handed melee weapons have cleave damage percentage. When you attack an enemy, percentage of the primary attack damage also applies, so it's like splash. Okay, that's fine. So we got this. The Pearl Hammer, Hammer of Carnage. And we do that. And now he has that. Okay, cool. Right, done. Let's continue. What is that? Inside the cave, your champion sees an animal that resembles a dog only it reaches to Kane's shoulders. It is feeding savagely and he your party. They walk away quietly. No! We want to fight! I want to fight everything. Why would I walk away from a fight? 
That is cowardly. Plus, it could sneak, sneak up on us from behind. Relic chest. Hey, look, we got a new item for her because it's the crossbow. The quick repeater. Done. Letter. The parable of the little brother. Throughout our town, I'm the strongest in manner, so to the south my past must be. My horse is packed, my farewell said, yet my big brother will not look upon me. It doesn't really rhyme. They say that I abandon them, that magic changes men, and I swear I will not leave till they face me again. Is there a button I can, like, hold to see what, like, is clickable? The gate is locked, you and your champions, you know locked, fine. But I want this ring. Oh, this is a little brother statue, that's creepy. Oh. Oh, th these guys look pretty spooky. I like how we can just run away. Right, well, we'll, we'll kill them, it'll be fine. Start battle. When you hover your cursor over an enemy or the champion, you can see their base stats and current stats. If you have trouble dealing with certain enemies, they have high armor. You can look at their stats and adjust your strategy. Okay. Aura is a very important aspect of combat. Certain skills project an aura around the caster marked by a yellow outline. All enemies or champions in rage are affected. Affected. Afflicted. Aff... That's a T. Affected. Okay. Affected. Either positively or negatively. Multiple auras stacked. This is indicated by blue circles below the character. In this case, two auras are stacked. Okay. If you let your enemies stack their auras, they could become very difficult to deal with. Okay, so try and separate them. Offer Draw skills offer unparalleled flexibility in combat. At the moment, you have only one skill, Cane Stone Wall. Use it to effectively to cut off enemies that channel. Oh, that's clever. Combat summary is displayed after each comma, and we figured it out. Okay. I guess we should stay here. And then we can use her, and she can, like, have fire weapons. And now he's burning. Or bleeding? I'm not really sure. He's weak to fire, though, so that's pretty good. I'm assuming that's what the minus 20% means. And then he's stronger against earth. Or maybe I do 20% less damage with fire, and 30% more damage with earth. I don't really know. We'll, we'll have to test this. So then we have, like, a progress bar up here on the top. We can see, like, how many enemies we've killed. So it kind of seems like they do come in waves. So we want to kill this one if we can. Like quickly. Nope, this one. There we go. Nope. We'll just kill him. It's fine. There, yeah, he's dead. Right, you go stand here. I bet you these guys are gonna do that cool, like, channeling thing. How many times can I use this W thing? This seems very strong. Oh, uh, wall. Does that work? That does work. Nice. I guess I should probably heal him. And then you can go and help with this. The problem is, like, ranged enemies, this guy, you have to kind of go up to them. I think I want her to kill this one. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Where is she going? No, I need you. He can't use his wall, so I'm just gonna heal. Oh, this is awkward. Maybe I right-click to attack. Right, use your super powerful shots. I don't get why she doesn't just attack this guy. Like, she can. Can I get out of his range? For draining health? Wait, let like, go over here? Yeah, it does work. Okay, cool. This guy's getting dazed, at least. I've got no mana. Uh, we maybe overused our mana a little bit. Can he run away, please? Come on, you can do it. There we go. It's a little bit tricky to, like, move the units around. Like, she went running into battle there when I really didn't want her to. Chaotic Steel Axe. Okay. Okay, well, we got an axe. So how do we know if it's better than what we have? 
An undead giant clad in heavy plate, a spirit of the dead draining our life. What madness is this? Perhaps they are restless spirits of the time past. They come. May Ev, your fire arrows prove useful here. Oh, well, there we go. So that means that they don't like fire. So minus 20% means fire are good. The plaque on the wall reads entrance to Quartermaster's office, access to closet one to three. Hmm, Quartermaster, eh? Hey, we should investigate. There could be information of value within. Value, the door's open. Come on. Just a collapsed stairwell. I can't make it to the bottom, but I see faint light. Too bad the space is too narrow for us. Maybe those skeletons crawled up from down there. What if the level below is swarming with them? Hardly a worry. I doubt their weapons can penetrate my armor. In case you didn't notice, I'm not wearing any fancy shield guarded plate. My life now... My life before my cobrands, anyway. The third virtue of a king's champion. You should know me better than that by now, Maeve. Maeve, whatever her name is. There's something here. Gold. So, some games like this, they have a button you can hold, and then it tells you, like, shows you everything you can click on, but it doesn't look like this one has one, so... I'll just keep going. Oh yeah, I was meant to sort out my inventory, wasn't I? So what does this do? This is less damage. But is water damage? Oh no, I have water damage equipped. So maybe we just dismantle this. How do I can't do it now. Okay, whatever. Whatever, we'll worry about it later. There's also... Skill tree. You have one unused skill point. Enough to select one enhancement effect of those skills. Uh, okay, so I can make skills better. Next. Mastery influences certain parameters of the skills. Makes sense. Okay, so I, why would I want to make dash better? Surely I'd want to make heal wounds better. How do I, how do I upgrade this? Oh, I have to do dash or wall. Mana cost minus 10, cooldown minus 10. Let's do that. Uh... I think I spent it. Okay, cool. And then, can I be the other character? And I can make her fire arrows better. Or her arrow barrage. Pushes enemies back. I don't know, maybe we make fire arrows. Explosive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? That sounds like fun. Cool. Climate strikes at general attitude to each champion towards yourself. The main quest also... The main quest and also towards each other. It is influenced by critical choices. So I guess we're going to make choices later and that's going to affect alignment. Alignment directly influences your party's morale in combat. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Right. You have three unused attribute points. You can see the effect of each point by observing the numbers on the right hand side when you press plus or minus. Okay, so this is like strength and stuff. Increases attack speed and melee and range weapons. Increases damage. Increases power of skills. Increases hit points. So we'll make her quick. Approve. And we'll make him tanky and strong approve there we go cool okay so none of that was actually like prompted for me to do i just found it myself which is kind of interesting considering i had a bunch of points i could have used uh okay we've got some boots so let's just put these on um okay so there's a skeleton with a broken bow i guess we go this way this doohickey teleport a strange mechanism sends before your party there are some letters engraved in its pestles that read gardens on the other side of this is another engraving barely visible this teleporter was commissioned so we can use this to teleport well this one doesn't seem to be working which is fine by me i prefer to rely on my own legs when i need to go besides the idea of disappearing and reappearing out of thin air it doesn't sit well with me why not okay so let's go let's go I don't recognize any of these places. There's no way this cavern can be 14 miles wide. This place must have been on the surface at some point. Curious, so much of human history has been lost. Maybe this place will tell us about the events that brought our world to ruin. Reliving the past will bring us nothing but grief. We must look to the future to survive. If any man can see into the future, then I trust that man will be our lord. If this place is need a place of power, the only question matters is how to use the power. I hope my lord intentions, blah, blah, blah. Okay, only spirits are all knowing may have. All the rest of us can do is live each day with duty and honor and cling tight to our ideals, no matter what the days bring. The chasm below the bridge seems to be endless. Your champions make out some vague structures deep below, but they're too distant to guess what they might be. Okay. The Stanks and Guardians have been alerted. They will escort you to the administrative captain. Oh no, it's the same guy. Oh no. I don't know, but it sounds dangerous. I hope whatever this is, it's long gone from this place. Meh. People don't say that in the oldie days. I have bested men twice my size and twice as fast. I doubt this place hold anything more challenging. 
Okay. Well, the way we went then was... Oh, there's a chest here now. Quest log updated. Entrance to the tower. So can we go up to here and look down? Look there. A throne forged of pure crystal. This must be what my lord is seeking. The architecture here is beyond words. Those windows glow with golden light. Yeah, it must be far past dusk in the outside world. Do you feel that cane? My skin is trembling. I think it's coming from these crystals. I feel it too. Let's look for a way down. Well, last time we went this way. So let's go this way. There's also this chest I want to open. Find me some goodies. What we got? A healthy steel hammer. Gives you, oh, it makes you stronger. That's probably actually better for him. Because he's our tank, right? So things that give health are probably pretty good. If I have to fight these guardians now, I'm going to be really upset. Is he dead? Unbelievable. Look at this creature, forged of stone and crystal. He never mentioned meeting this all those years ago. Perhaps it's one of those Sanctum Guardians. I don't like the look of it. Let's find another way around. There's no time for sneaking around in shadows. You're on official business. It would yield or face his sword. Okay. Well, apparently it's going to yield or face our sword. So let's do that. You have found eight gold. The creature appears heavily damaged with large portions of its stone surface chipped away and fractured portions of crystal pulsating with bright purple light. So maybe like people have been fighting it before. Turning its head towards your champions, the creature emits strange high-pitched sounds slowly at first, then with increasing frequency. I think it's trying to talk. I wonder if the creature suddenly shifts position, raising its giant arms to strike. It seems we're not welcome in this place. All right, if it won't let us pass the crystal throne without a fight, then a fight it will receive. With this much damage, one hit of my sword should shatter it, whatever it is. Less talking, more shattering. I'm right behind you, and please spare me the lecture on tactics this time. Uh, so it's weak to void, apparently. Okay. okay, let's go. Oh, this is a new map. This is cool. Where are the bad guys spawning? Over there. So actually, I should move him forward to this point. Oh. Haha, <laughs> so I haven't actually started the battle yet. And then I can move her to, like, here. Oh, shit. Shit, son. He's got a friend. Did not see that coming. So we gotta kill the ad, right? You take this one on. Okay, so this is boss health, right? So we're actually just killing him. And then if he looks like he's gonna cast again, maybe we can like dodge. Would be kind of useful. Okay, so that actually stuns. So we're better to just fight these in kind of groups. She can take out the Adam, he can take out this. What does Dash do? Damages. Oh, it generates threat. So if I do that, then I get more threat. And then I can heal. And then she can use W to like also try and take this guy out. I should probably move. You kill this. Look, this one. Why is she moving closer? It's so annoying. Okay, so this guy's gonna die. He's on 8% health. Uh, she's kind of weak, but I don't think it matters too much. There we go. Okay, that was okay. I probably could have done more about the stun, you know? That would have maybe been better. But we're learning here. This is a learning experience, so, you know. Maeve, right here, I'm okay. That was a close one. My sword is less effective against those things than I expected. Maybe you could ask the Lord to part with his fire sword. Apparently we have a fire sword. That's pretty cool. An elemental weapon? Excellent idea. That... Though doubtful he would rel relinquish such a fine weapon. Okay, so we got a shield. Oh, apparently you can have two weapons, but you do lower DPS. For the offhand one. That's cool. Can you really hold two crossbows at once? I mean, according to RuneScape, you can hold a crossbow and a shield, so I guess yes. But how do you reload a crossbow with one hand? And here's the statue. 
past the throne is clear. We must tell the Lord at once. We're gonna go get him. Did we go get him? Yeah, apparently we went and got him. The crystal throne, so many times it appeared in my dreams as a child, though I have no justification for it. I feel as if re reunited with an old friend. You feel a strange compulsion, the same urge you felt all those years ago, drawing you to the throne. You hesitate for a moment, resisting the pull is far easier than you remember, and sit with swift determination. Okay, so we, we, sit on the, we sit on the chair. A jolt of energy rushes through your body, overwhelming all your senses at once. Sight, hearing, smell, touch, even the taste in your mouth seems a hundred times more sensitive. As the feeling subsides, you realise with awe you are no longer limited to the senses of your own body. You can see, hear, and feel as each of your champions sees, sees, and feels. So I can be everyone. Are you alright, my lord? Yes, yes, I need a moment, Kane. May I have... Though I have no explanation, I can see through your eyes. I can... That's a bit invasive. I can even hear myself speak through your ears. Magic, are you sure it's to be trusted, my lord? To speak plainly, I am not. But a great power resides in this place. I always suspected this, and now, sitting atop this throne, I know for certain. T. I am pulled towards it to a place somewhere very deep beneath us. Okay. If it is here, we will find it. Just give the command. Hold on a sec, Kay. Can you tell us anything more about what this power is, my lord, and what we can expect to find below in our search for it? Unfortunately, I cannot. I'm filled with a feeling, nothing more. A sense we are running out of time, and that the powers in this place is our best and last hope. As to what lies below, this is as far as my childhood journey brought me. Whatever you encounter below will be as much a mystery to me as it is to you. The command is given, my old friend, but before you go, I have something for you. Kane, take this. I found it many years ago in a ruined city. It has served me well, but will serve you better now. Wait, do I not get to play as him? Or is the idea that we leave him behind and he controls us because he can see through our eyes? Chest plates of elemental resistant sword chance. Oh, taking the sword. Who picks the chest plates? As for Maeve, this heirloom has been in my family for many generations. Uh, like, health regen is probably more useful, but mana regen means I can spam more spells. Hey, we got some goodies. Look at that. There says the leap below. Everything is at stake. We can't fail. Go now and look after each other. Hey, look, stairs. They're over here in case you weren't sure. Hey, okay, so. Uh, this... This goes here. And then for him, you get this. How do I dismantle these? Oh, like that. And then I can forge things? Okay, can't do it yet. Whatever. It's fine. So, down we go. The statue is unlike the others. It is very fine. It has very fine features and seems to seems so lifelike you expect it to leap from the pedestal at any moment. An engraving at the bottom reads first mage proteus magus i feel as if its living eyes are set upon us watching our every move you mean by this statue i feel it too he's pointing towards the stairs perhaps we should not disappoint him shall we yes we shall we down the stairs Ooh, a loading sequence i am not reading all of this text this is this is too much text Oh, I guess the idea here is that whoever we are, we are watching Kane and Maev as they go down through their eyes. Yeah, and hear what they saw. So we just sat on a throne waiting. Ah, well. Smiling. What's the matter, Kay? A little too much pheasant and ale last night? You look a little out of breath. That's rude. I counted almost 1,000 steps. A simple task in light leather. Next time, you wear my armor, bear my shield, and carry my hefty blade. And I'll carry a little bow. Then we'll see who's making jokes at the bottom. Thanks, but your armor wouldn't fit me, and I'm afraid a lady's bow needs a delicate touch. Thanks for the offer. Hey, look at this perpetuating stereotypes. As soon as you're ready, then, our grand adventure awaits. Quest log updated. We have found 11 gold. Crates and barrels. Is there anything along here? You gotta check all of the nooks and crannies. Right, teleporter. Before you, the party stands another teleportation mechanism, identical to the one seen above. This one, however, glows with bright blue light as... Its rings slowly rotate against the sound of grinding stones. The plaque on the bottom says, Entrance, direct access to gardens below. Welcome to the tower. Teleporter, which looks the one we saw earlier, yet reads below. How strange. We should go back to my lord anyway and inform him access to the tower is unblocked. Now you want to use this teleporter? What did you say earlier about preferring your good old legs? 
That was before we had to descend all of those steps. You can fast travel between locations, obviously. Once you click on them, a map of the current level opens. Blue circles show the location of any teleporters you visited and activated. To travel between those... Okay. To return to the city now, click on the city icon located at the top part of the screen. If you have enough gold, you can train your champions in the barracks. Oh, so we can maybe leave people behind in the city. And then when we do that, we can do stuff here. Okay, so there's this whole city menu where we can go to the barracks. Oh, and then I guess you unlock more characters and then you can train them. But I don't have enough gold to train her, but that would make her stronger. So then characters I'm not using can be upgraded. Okay, we can't go to the backsmith. The keep. This is just the menu for our characters, right? So where we can add points and change their inventory. Like this is just the regular menu. Library. For quests, active quests, bestiary, so we can find out about our enemies and I guess keep up with the story. Armory. Current max hero level two after upgrade max hero level. Oh, you get blueprints and then you can upgrade things. Okay, cool, looks good. And then you choose your battle party out of the characters that you have. Huh, so the game the game seems to have, you know, somewhat of a scope. Like, it looks kind of interesting in terms of progression. Because a lot of games you find have really, like, they, they, don't, they don't have enough scope in the long term. So this game kind of seems interesting in that regard. Your champions are started by the sudden appearance of a strange hooded woman with metallic wings. Blue light shines from her eyes and crystals embedded throughout her body. A trail of blue particles lingers in her wake as she moves. Greetings, travellers. Who, who are you? I am the Tower Avatar. And what exactly is that? I am aware of all things that transpire here. I can feel your footsteps fall upon the stone floors and hear your voices echo through the walls. I am the Tower's eyes, ears, mouth and hands. What needs I shall provide. What I need, it provides. We are one and the same. So you see and hear everything we do. Oh. So you see and say everything we do? That's just creepy. My creators were powerful magi. They first constructed my body, the tower itself, and then later crafted my mind. They gave me the power to assume this form, so I might defend myself. Then you are a god. Duty bound to protect these halls. Well met, Avatar. Be at ease, as we mean you no harm. My name is Cave, and Maeve, and this is Miev. You do not have the power to harm me, but I appreciate the intentions, Kane. Tell me, why are you here? What do you seek at my tower? We are here to reach the lowest depths of this mysterious structure and learn how and why it has appeared within our lands. So be it. I will not stop you. Explore this level as you wish, but be warned. A strange power has awakened old spirits here. The dead roam restlessly through my halls. We have encountered them already. I do not know how to do her voice. Are there a lot of them here? Yes, there are many, and becoming more difficult to contain with each passing day. Stay vigilant. Okay, easy. So, it was a spooker. We got spooked by the spooker, and let me just move on. Fountain. Found in the Scattered Cross Hall, if one of your champions will decide to drink, his or her statistics will change. Ooh. Looking at the fountain and the water site is a good indication of what kind of effects you can see. They're predefined. So this looks like a friendly fountain. So then... She can drink. Health has increased. Oh, I didn't want health. He should have had health. Why don't you drink from the fountain? It was a gamble to drink from the fountain. You brave or your food holiday has paid off. But you should be careful next time. Some relics you encounter may be undesirable. Okay, it's fine. It was fine. I mean, the water looks fresh, right? She is watching from the shadows. I don't like it. She's guardian of the tower. It's her duty. Be content that she means us no harm. Even though we're stealing all of her gold. This is kind of creepy. There's a chest. With a fancy axe. Which doesn't really help us because we just got a cool new sword. So I'm not even going to try and equip that. Gold. More frogs. More gold. Can we open this? Well, that frog is a big frog. Digging site. A shaft leading into dark nothingness. It does not seem like a mining operation. Rather, an attempt to reach the level below. Got some booties. What do these do? Well, she's not got any booties, so we'll put some booties on. Can we fight the frog? At the edge of the fight, you see a small orange frog peering up at you, totally unafraid. They silently bid the creature happy hunting and move on. So nothing along here really other than some loot. Do we go right next? Uh, I guess there's not much to do to the right. Oh, there's some more gold. We found 10 gold. And if we get more gold, we can train our party members. So it kind of makes sense to gather it. So much death. At least these skeletons aren't risen. Just like famous last words. 
His bones are caked in dust and look brittle. Whatever happens here took a place a very long time ago. Suddenly a strong gust of wind from the far end of the room washes over your champions. Can you hear it? I could swear I heard a whisper carried by the wind. It is too faint to identify. Ah, perhaps it's just my imagination. No, Kane, I hear it too. This place is eerie. Too much like walking through one of those ruined cities in the nights. Ooh, but keys. Also, I never found keys to open that thing that had the item in it. Maybe that's that, and then we can go back and get, you know, the stuff by the, like, the little brother or whatever it was called. What is that? A journal. Ruin Tower, day 33 of Devra's Prime. The children are ate the last of our dried meats two days ago. Our bellies are filled only by the water we have in such abundance. Indra lost her little daughter and her mind around the same time. I mean, come on, you just, that, that's kind of, that's not a fun experience to go through. No one goes near the place where the little cairn is that covers the body. Scared by the blank stares of the mother standing silently watch over her beloved. No word yet from the expedition. It's been almost five months now since they departed to seek the descent to the floors below. We all pray to the old spirit that Slath and our people return soon. I fear the dark places that someday may be drawn into nightmare that lies between hunger and death. Even I am troubled by thought of which I cannot bring myself to write. People lived in this place? That's almost 900 years ago. It must be authentic too. I haven't seen anyone refer to the calendar with initials since I was a child. After all, no one remembers exactly what it stood for. I've heard a half dozen different meanings. All Saints, Age of Sergo. We have lost so much, the proper passage of time eludes us. We should look for more notes like this. If we get an understanding of this place, we might find out whereabouts of values. Mind your duty, High Courier. I thought you left the past behind. Like, she just likes taking things. Is the point. She likes taking things. What's over here? Spooky keys and skeletons. Chemist found an ornately piece of metal. Upon closer attention, a key split in half. We should find its twin and the locket fits. Oh, so I have to find two halves of a key. Skeletons half risen from their graves. The claw marks indicate that they have been climbing out of their own graves. As your hero approach the statue, they are stuck by its sublime craftsmanship. Warm to the touch and vibrating. It feels as if something lies hidden within. Something of significant power. That's a stern looking highborn if ever I saw one. I bet he was really wealthy. Perhaps it is one of the great spirits worshipped by the ancients. Look, there's an inscription here. To those who would seek the boon of Sindros, three things I require. The need must be dire, the purpose true, and the supplicant must speak his name. Sindros, like the Sindra's month in winter, perhaps the two are connected. Enough, enough, I say our need is dire and our purpose true. Well, you know what I think about touching magical statues. Go on, lay your hands on it and say his name. Who seeks the age of Sindros? I have taken many souls since I last added the dress by mortal. What is their offering? Offering figures, there's always a price to pay. Here, I suppose I can lose one of my rings. Place it at the foot of the statue and see what happens. You dare to vile my sanctity with your trinkets? Such things are meaningless. Meaningless. The dead have no need for riches. The dead are the risen you're doing? I am not dead, child. I am death. Do not worry. You will know me for what I am. All mortals of this world will know the everlasting embrace of Sindros one day. As for the, those risen, they are affrontal to me as well. What is rightfully mine has been ripped away. Blasphemy. Bring me a living thing as your offering and I will give a boon in due return. Then you shall have the means to deal with the risen. So do we bring him the, the, the frog? Death? What madness is this? I've dealt with a lot of shady characters in my time. But entering a pact with a spirit claiming to be death, that's not enough ale left in all of Astra to convince him I'm not going to do it. You're right, me, but then again, we are on our own down here, and his offer to help us get rid of the Risen appears genuine. I think we should make use of whatever help we can get. Asking for a living thing? I'm not sacrificing an innocent animal or person to this statue. Of course not. Perhaps you think too big. Perhaps anything will do. A mouse or small insect might do the trick. Great, now we're chasing dungeon vermin. Let's look around, but I'll leave the catching to you. Right, so I have to catch a mouse. So we got a ring, which can be equipped by either of them. Gives you health regen, so let's do that. So can I go get the frog? Do you think the frog would work? What if the frog doesn't work though? And the game's just like, nah. But we could click on the frog. So maybe we, we go back and get the frog. Those pipes installed in the wall draw the underground water and channel it to the fountain. At least we have plenty of drinking water down here. Oh, that's that seems to be what's going on. And there's a chest here. Let's have a look. Got some more goodies. But we gotta go find a frog. I'm gonna go see a frog about a frog. I kind of feel a bit guilty though about sacrificing the frog. Is it gonna let me take the frog? At the edge, your party sees a small orange frog. It is the first living animal ever counted tower. Your champions take it as it might make a good offering to Syndros. So we couldn't take the frog until we'd found the Syndros quest. And once we found the Syndros quest, then we could take the frog. So what's over here? There's like a symbol on the map. I'll just have a quick look. 
Oh, bad guys. Um, let's go get our, our boon, and then we'll give the quest to this guy. The, the frog. And then we'll fight those guys. Okay. Uh, so he's over here somewhere. Uh, I got you a frog. Sindros fixes you with his terrifying glare and speaks. Such a small life force vessel, I'd expected something richer. Yet I will obey the Sacred Covenant, take this as a reward, and make good use of it. We've received a sword as a reward for their offering. They have the feeling, however, that they would have gotten a much richer reward if they'd offered a more appropriate offering. Oh, so we've messed up. Ah, well. But this doesn't really help me, because he's already got a pretty good sword, right? I already got this sword. This has higher DPS, though. Oh, it's a two-handed sword, that would be why. Well, I didn't know, I'd only found a frog. What else am I gonna take? Like, a cat? I wanna kill things. That's not cool. Your party traverses the bridge, each step tentatively, there is nothing but darkness below. Come on then, let's go across the bridge. I'm gonna find, like, a cool creature now to sacrifice. Oh, we got a blue bow. Two-handed. But it's got higher DPS, and we've only got one, equip uh, one item equipped at the moment, so... I think it's fine. Next to a skeleton, you see a parchment with an inscription. My beloved wife, I can no longer endure walking through this cursed place. Without you, I have nothing left to live. Beside me, gone, there will be more food left for the others. Besides, with me, gone. Okay, cool. This is kind of spooky. I don't know if I'm meant to go here or not, really. Just keep exploring. Hey, we found some enemies. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Right, let's fight. Okay, let me have a look where they're gonna come from. So they spawn from there, and maybe here? I'm not sure if the glowing place is just where the enemies can come from or where they do come from. I thought it was over here, but maybe not. Oh no, there, okay, cool. So let's move him over here to block this one. This guy's basically dead. So then he can come and fight this one. Let's have a wee look around, make sure no one, aha, uh -huh. okay. So she should probably go kill this guy. No, 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 no. You go here. You attack this one. There we go. And now this one. It's not too bad. He is poison though, which is kind of a problem. have a quick peek over here make sure no one else is showing up it looks like we're okay though and this is actually not a bad choke point oh we can dash to these guys and then kill them i don't want to use too much mana like i don't need to here although he should heal there we go Okay, there's someone coming from behind us, but that's fine. We can kill these guys first. Let's do that. I probably should have used Q, actually, because fire damage is really strong. Okay, he can heal again in four seconds. Let me heal with this guy. That's not bad. I think that's the last enemy. Nice! We did it. 10 out of 10. Got some new boots, got some gold, got some bits and pieces. And then here's another teleporter. So we can teleport to here now. I guess that's like a way to get back. Got a chest. Gold. Anything else around here? No, it looks like this was a dead end. I haven't seen any more animals either to sacrifice to Syndros, so... And there you go. Uh, so let's go here. Ha! Huh, that's cool. That is cool. And then we could go back... Oh, there's gold right here. I'm just gonna walk past it. There we go. We'll go get this other fight up here, because there is a, a battle here. So let's go fight these guys. 
Uh, fight. Okay, cool. And so... We'll just start the battle. I didn't actually check, but I think we can send him forward to here. Send her to here. Uh, yeah, so he can go here. And then she can also use Q. Because she may as well use fire arrows, such that these guys are weak to it. So if I have permanent fire arrows on, that's really good. Okay, shit. So this is a problem because these are ranged. So I think I need him to charge to like here. And then she can take this guy out. Yeah, she's taking that guy out. Oh, right. And then we go over here and take these ones out. While we still have arrows, he can heal. Why is he not attacking him? There we go. Right, you need to reapply your fire arrows and shoot this guy. And then he can go to here and fight this guy. I don't like splitting the party too much, but like, he's not really ranged. Can I dash? No, I can't dash to there. Can... There we go. That was actually really cool. Uh, I think we can probably afford to just spend our mana now. Because everyone is kind of dying. So then if we spend our mana, you know, right at the end of the fight, it kind of doesn't matter. Oh shit, she has like 100 mana. Why am I not using these abilities like way more? That was a waste. I had like way more mana I could have done. And then you can see how much DPS pe different characters did, how much damage they dealt. So then you can kind of work out how your party is useful, I guess. Alright. Well, here is some gold. I think that's where we're going to leave it for today, you guys. This has been Tower of Time. I think it's an interesting game. If you like ARPGs, uh, it's kind of cool. It doesn't have like a character creator or anything like that. I feel a strange draft from this wall. Yes, I feel it too. A hidden passage, perhaps? Look, touch the stone here. Strangely soft to the touch. I haven't crossed any mechanisms like this. Okay, so we have to figure out how to open the wall. But, um, yeah, I think if you like ARPGs, this game is kind of up your street. You don't have character creators, I guess, and maybe some people like to make their own characters. And the character, like, the battle system is kind of different in that when you fight, you go to, like, a separate screen, and then it's kind of like waves of enemy. A closed door. How strange. Why close this passage if there's nothing to protect? Looks like the half key we found fits this lock. I bet my life on it. So then I guess we have to find the other half of the key. And this is where we go. Oh my god, look at that guy there. That is a spooker right there. That does not look fun. But yeah, I think um, I'm going to leave it there. So if you enjoyed the video, maybe leave a like. If it's the kind of thing you'd like to see become a series, that's always something you can let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, let me know what you think of the game. I think it was, uh, I thought it was pretty fun. I think, uh, you know, it's been, it's been pretty interesting to play. A bit different. And, uh... You know, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. If you like the... Maybe I had to use the coal on that guy, Syndros. If you like the video, leave a like. Um, and you can always find me on Twitter at Jagras and on uh, Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jagras. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome, awesome day. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!